Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents Hot blankets of fire across the sky. Harmless, though. Keeping me warm. I'm cool, dude. I'm cool. Bruce Wayne eats his birthday cake. You and I are neighbors. Really? Can I borrow a cup of sugar, darling? That's how we talk to scientists in Texas. I'm just kidding. I've never talked to a woman before in my life. I wouldn't even know what to say. Go up and be like, hey, which colored Fruit Loop is your favorite? And then I imagine we just go from there. So stay tuned, because who knows what we might find. Space alien vagina guns. Next. Let us learn some shizzle. Crap. It broke. They turned it off. It wasn't that broke, so they turned it back on again. So this video is pretty much just celebrating. Yay, find some dangerous. Somebody invented dance. Do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Use a hookah and a hula hoop when you do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Use a hookah and a hula hoop when you do the Herculubus. Wow, I think I've created a new American dance craze. Give me a beat! And then, woman pulls gun from vagina after dispute over space aliens. Semi, colon, cops. Was it like an AK-47? I thought it was bad for the firing mechanism to get the gun wet. I guess, yeah, guns do vibrate when you fire them. I just had this weird image of Clint Eastwood going, Go ahead, make my day. And then, did the aliens give her the gun that she had in her vagina? Vibrating ray gun. Hey, don't blame me, man. This is on the HuffPo on my science story. Right next to Alien Robot Handjobs, the future is coming. Wow. Yeah, science. Space alien vagina guns. Next. On Thor News. Whatever, Debbie Douchesaurus. Asterisk. And just remember, the only thing conservatives fear more than a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is a gay Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Peace out. God bless everybody. It's good to be back. So I'm going to tell some jokes as I track down hat clown Nazis from outer space. Don't get your hopes up too high. Man, I ain't seen much. I've been watching too. I've been doing my due diligence. Following the story to the bitter letdown end. Bitter letdown end. You know, this whole ice and adventure has really reminded me of Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin's crestfallen awareness of how his beanie helicopter hat would not even come close to his imagination. Perfect metaphor for the metaphor that was Comet Ison. Ah, uh, okay. But I am crestfallen and do feel a bit swindled. Somewhere between there is a whole lot of nothing here and... Oh my god, it's raining fire and iron. People are dying. Doom 100% is the common ground. <laughs> it seems like nothing, man. Totally nothing. 